think the exhibit, if if I could illustrate, it's like if, if you could go in this ear and then like do a little loop around and come out the other ear, it's kind of like, you know, this is what sort of happens in my head. It was absolutely necessary to understand that the exhibit would embody the level of care, the, the, the attention to detail that all their work does. We said, okay, we're gonna fill this room with a bunch of cool stuff. But then we said, well, we should somehow connect these dots, you know, let's thread this room. So when you look at punk rock stencils, you can come over here and see early American stoneware that we like. It's the same stencils. You know, the stuff that we were using to make flyers in the 80s. I'm excited now, just as much as I was then, to put those stencils that we designed onto stoneware. Once you found a particular niche, like let's say fonts, as you start out as graphic designer, you get good at that. Well, if you've done that, well, what else can you do? I mean, you could just carry on doing fonts, right? I mean, they've designed, and I asked Andy the other day, somewhere around 500. I mean, I, there's no, I don't see any end in sight. It's not like they've given up on fonts and decided to do something else. But why not do something else? So in a way, they've laid bare a, a fantastic kind of connect the dots story of what could be understood as a, as a classic kind of innovation process. We call the show a type of learning, and it's a convenient pun for us because we make fonts, letters and numbers. That's what a lot of people consider type, but it's also our style of learning, how, again, taking that hot rod sensibility that makes something your own, customize something that's, you know, build upon an existing idea, make it, make it fun, make it cool. And, and that's what we try to keep in mind. I mean, it's, when you walk in, you see those those influences and a lot of early childhood pieces, all that stuff that got us excited as a kid, you know, we wanna, we don't wanna lose sight of that. We wanna try and bake that into our daily, our daily grind. If you're curious, if you're interested in the world you live in, if you wanna be diverted and amused, but also come away with a sense of intellectual or creative gain, that's why you should come to an exhibit like this. I am hoping that there's gonna be something for everyone in here. It could be a color, it could be a car. Someone might come in and have no interest in cars or no interest in slime and blood, but might like textiles, might like dolls, might like home furnishings. And, and again, it's all the things that, that we enjoy, um, that we try and surround ourselves with, that we try to, you know, somehow involve ourselves in the, in the creation of. I might pass out just because I don't know what to look at in here. <laughs>